Hey guys, this is James with thegraymattersblog.com coming to you on another one of my walks through the beautiful South Texas woods. And on this walk, we're going to be talking about today another episode in my series called Vampires That Don't Suck, Yes Pun Intended. And we're going to be talking about how to breathe some new life, pun intended also, into the vampire genre, in urban, be it urban fantasy or high fantasy or wherever you might want to see vampires. And today we're going to be talking about Chinese vampires, specifically Chinese hopping vampires called Jingxi. And I'm sure I'm horribly mispronouncing that. If Jingxi is not how you're supposed to say it, please let me know in the comments and let me know a better way to pronounce it. So, Jingxi are super, super interesting, and I think that if we draw a little bit from the mythology surrounding that, we can do a lot to make vampires a lot more interesting. Um, I do want to say, guys, we're this is in this series, we're still on using our new rig, trying to make the videos a little bit cleaner, a little bit better looking, smoother. If you've noticed a difference, if this or the other videos look better to you, please let us know in the comments so we know if this is working. And also, if you came here from Facebook or any other link, please take a moment to go ahead and log into your YouTube app, like and subscribe. It really helps us out. Leave us a comment. That also helps us out a ton. The algorithm loves that stuff. So anyway, we're talking about Jingxi. And the thing I love about them is as I explain to them, explain them to you, you're going to think how silly this sounds. And then I'm going to tell you how to make them scary because they're called hopping vampires. And what it is, is they're usually a corpse and they have experienced rigor mortis. So they're usually very stiff, very, you know, their legs are together and their arms are straight out like in a T pose and they move by hopping. And, you know, sometimes they're depicted as wearing like, you know, archaic government official clothing and they move around by hopping and they drink people's chi instead of their uh, blood and of course chi is the life force the life energy so right there they're more of an energy vampire and that's an interesting way to take it and just make it a little different all by itself but you know these stiff vampires hopping around in a t-pose chasing people while dressed like uh, dynastic chinese businessmen sounds really funny right but it's has super cool history behind it um, it has a lot of the same history as European vampires where it was to explain these weird things they saw in corpses. So it has this really neat stuff and this history of why they believe these things. But then you can actually take that and uh, for one, it's actually based on a really interesting thing of some of the Chinese philosophy from the time, which is they believe that people had multiple parts of themselves called the Hans and the Po's. And the Han was the good part of your soul, and there were multiple ones, and the Po was the evil part of your soul, and there were different different kinds of Po. And the big thing with Han and Po is when you die, your Han moves on, but your Po remains with the body. So one example, there were others, you know, there were people who believed the vampires were demonic possession or what have you, but one of the places where these vampires were believed to come from is the Po left over in your body takes over. So it's exactly like you, if everything good was removed from you. And that right there, if you just take a moment to think about that, there was actually a Tales of from the Crypt about that, where someone cut out the soul of a person and their body came back as a horrible murder machine. But just think of you with everything good about you removed and how scary that would be. And I think that gives you some ideas right there. But the hopping vampires, silly, right? Well, let me paint a couple of scenes for you. Your main characters are holed up they know they're surrounded by these hopping vampires and it seems kind of silly until they're outside they look outside and they see them hopping slamming themselves against the wall bloodying their bodies wrecking their faces crushing their skulls every time they hop and throw themselves against the wall then our heroes hear from outside the door where they have themselves barricaded they hear a thump 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 coming from the hall outside and they realize one of the vampires is in it's the thump, 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 getting faster and faster as it closes in on their position. Let me give you another one. You have your hero, your intrepid adventurer, and she's in this tomb filled with terracotta soldiers, and suddenly she hears the thump, thump, thump through the hallways. She turns, and she sees this silly-looking, very finely dressed, desiccated corpse standing in a T-pose, staring at her with its heads cocked. And then she looks away, hears a thud, looks back, and it's immediately in her face and attacks. 
you can kind of take these jumping vampires into, if you're a Doctor Who fan, into a Weeping Angel style thing where the leap happens off screen out of the character's vision and thus is a way to make it so much scarier. And it just goes back to just because something is silly, just because it's funny, doesn't mean you can't do some awesome horror with it. There's actually a Neil Gaiman quote from his Neverwhere series um, about a couple of characters who are hitmen, who are funny and silly, but and they're also just incredibly dangerous and deadly and terrifying. And one of the things that he, he has one of these characters say is, do not make the mistake of thinking that because we are funny, we are not dangerous. Love that quote, and I think it really applies to this, and I think it applies to a lot of monsters. Let me know in the comments if there's any other monster that you think is silly, and I guarantee I can provide you with a way to make it scary. I'm going to make that a challenge. Let me know a silly sounding creature, and I guarantee I can respond to you and make it scary. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for, ten for this walk. I really appreciate you guys coming with me. You guys are the favorite part of my walks, and when you're not here, I really miss you guys. So, go ahead and make sure to remember to like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps us out, and I will see you guys on my next walk.